Guam residents and the military community came together to celebrate the 10th annual Back to Sumai Day at Clipper Landing Park aboard U.S. Naval Base Guam in Santa Rita, April 6. Back to Sumai Day is a commemoration of the island's former Sumai village, which was devastated during World War II. Though the Sumai area is now home to NBG, NBG leadership has welcomed former Sumai residents, their descendants, and guests back to the former village grounds to honor what was once a thriving local community. Largely organized by the Santa Rita Mayor's Office staff, the Back to Sumai Day event was a collaborative effort with the MBG community, consisting of a Catholic mass, traditional fiesta buffet, entertainment, static displays, and base tours. MBG Commanding Officer Captain Jeffrey Grimes found value in the event in that it encouraged the sharing of the Sumai story and nurtured the local military relationship. I think the most important thing about this event is that the Sumai residents come back and they are able to tell the story, uh, tell the story amongst themselves, tell the story to the local community and also to uh, our local military. This is, a, this is a great event that the Santa Rita Mayor's Office uh, and his staff, uh, Miss Dora, do a great job every single year in, in, in putting this on and it's a true honor that we could at least host, a, host this event. This is just a, one piece of a, of a larger uh, effort that we have to continue to reinforce that we're the good neighbors that we have, the good uh, people that surround us. But and, and this is an example of one village, Santa Rita, that we try to uh, emulate across all the villages. And my hope in my next couple years here is to continue to strengthen that and even expand it to more and more events just like this so we can all share in the great history, the great culture, and the friendships that we have. Santa Rita Mayor Del Alvarez anticipates the event every year. He thanked the military for their accommodations. Uh, the Manamkus of Santa Rita are born and raised here, and I started this event 10 years ago so that they can just come back here and look at their uh, birthplace and probably reminisce with others about, you know, the Sumai days. They're very, very uh, hospitable in opening up the base and making sure that I get what I need. Though life in Sumai is just a memory for former Sumai resident Juan Guzman, he was happy to see those of the younger generation celebrating back to Sumai Day. Oh, it means a lot because uh, this is where I was born and raised before the war. Uh, and I enjoy seeing the new generation come down and spend their time with us. It's all up to us now, the second generation of Sumai to pass on the memories of the old beliefs of Sumai to them. Sailors, hailing from various commands in Guam, assisted throughout the day's festivities and found the event informative. I'm kind of new to the, to the island of Guam, so I volunteered to learn a little bit more about the culture here. Uh, I didn't know what all was involved until today, so it made a big difference of uh, better understanding. So it's kind of an honor to come here and uh, help out um, learning a lot out here. For U.S. Naval Base Guam, I'm Alana Chargolov.